we're going to start over again. So we're doing my top to least favorite zodiac sign. Be sure to like, comment, and subscribe to this video. Tell me who was your top three favorite and like your least three. And I'm about to go ahead and tell you who my favorites and who I just really don't too much like. So on the top of the list, my number one is Pisces. I love how dreamy you guys can be. I love how creative you are. I just love y'all. You guys are just so whimsical to me. Like y'all really like lighting up my day. Like y'all are just like a breath of fresh air like y'all are easy like a sunday morning like i really admire having pisces people around me and like all the pisces i've met i've never really had any beef or animosity with they're just real cool people so yeah my flowers are right here so that's number one my second favorite is leo's i love leo's y'all are so loyal you're so protective like if you have a loved one like you will stand up and defend them if they won't defend themselves you guys are like a breath of fresh air i love how when y'all walk into a room like it's not that you demand like the scene but like people are just kind of like drawn to you. like they see you they see like the lion that you are now some setbacks i have about you guys sometimes you guys are so hard-headed you don't listen like you guys <sighs> you guys are real hotheads as well and if sometimes when you guys fall in love like it's just a wrap like it don't make no sense like i feel like fall in love for some of you guys like a kryptonite like it just all those hits the doors but on to number three my third favorite sign is virgo i love virgos they would have been number one but you know, as I said in the beginning, I'm going to do, I have to like the sign from the males to the females. And the male Virgo is just not cutting it. Like, Virgo, men, they're just so weird to me. Like, they just act strange, peculiar for no reason. Like, I just don't get it. Yeah, I remember that episode of SpongeBob where he had went to be, he wanted to be normal. So he got rid of, like, all his little craters and stuff. Like, he went to California and got all the works done. And then he came back, he was like, hi, I'm Spongebob. Like, just weird. Like, that's how they act. Like, just weird for no reason. It just, it, it's like they're shy to, like, just be them. Like, I just don't like it. Like, and then they be saying the wrong things. Like, it's not, like, they just say some off the wall things. Just make you feel like, oh, why would you even say this? Like, where did this even come from? They're just weird people. But I love Virgo women. You guys are so witty. You guys are just... <sighs> y'all are just so funny. I like being around you guys. And like most of the Virgos, I know y'all can dance. I'm just like, y'all entertaining. Because like me, I, I can't dance. Like it's a shame. But you know, I could do a little two-step or something. But not, not too much. But like Virgos, y'all are just everything. Now sometimes... Y'all are very critical on people. That's one thing I would like to just, you know, pluck out of Virgos. And then sometimes you can't, y'all think y'all can't be wrong when everybody can be wrong. But on to the next. So my next favorite zodiac sign is Cancers. I love how nurturing you guys are. You guys are like the moms of the group. You guys are just very sweet. Like most Cancers I know can cook and like they'll just do anything. Like they'll give you the shut off their back just like with pisces or even leos like they're just very sweet and helpful people um my next favorite sign is scorpios i love scorpios scorpios are just so misunderstood i feel like where the the bad stigma or whatever you want to call it came from you know you know a person you only take so much and a person is only going to let so much slide I feel like when it comes to a Scorpio, they'll let you slide for a little bit, like if you had them messed up. And then it's like that next time you slide, they just gotta let you have it. They gotta let that stinger come out. And I can speak from an experience because I am a Scorpio. Like I'm a really nice person, but if like you press my buttons, then it's just all gloves are off. Like I'm about to get you. So I just feel like the people who experience like the stinger of a Scorpio because they feel like we were never going to speak up or never just going to be like, okay, I don't like this or this, that, or third. Those are the ones that like give like the bad um, experiences with the Scorpios. Now, sometimes we can be a little moody, but you know, when is it? 
people can be moodies. And I also love how Scorpios, they can be mysterious. Like they're just, their presence in the law just makes you just want to talk to them. Like they're so intriguing. And then like, at first I didn't believe like the hype of like just our, our eyes, but like Scorpio eyes are just so amazing. Just make you just want to come to them. Like they a little siren or something. <laughs> they're just interesting. I love us. If you're a Scorpio, comment with like a heart. My next favorite sign, which is number six, is a Taurus. Now, Taurus, I like the male and the female Taurus kind of equally. Like, both y'all be having me messed up sometimes. It's not what you say, it's how you say it. And the way y'all be saying it, it's, it's messed up. Like, y'all just say some off-the-wall things, especially like a Taurus man. No, 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 no. Y'all are not... Y'all don't like to show emotions or like y'all just act like y'all don't have any. And y'all just do a lot. Y'all are very, very blunt, which everybody needs somebody that's going to be very honest with them. But sometimes y'all just go overboard because it's like you can deliver that energy to someone else. But sometimes when someone tries to deliver that energy to you, like you feel some type of way or like you just feel like they're trying to shade or jade you. And that's not the case. That's not the point. So I just feel like you guys need to work on your communication skills. But overall, I love how you guys like see the world. Like y'all aren't like it's a half empty cup. Y'all are like it's half full. Sometimes you have your days or whatever, but like everything is good. And y'all know like the best food places to eat. You got I like how you guys, y'all are just very driven people. I love that about you guys. My next favorite sign is Libra. I like the um, woman Libra more than the males, honestly and truly, because the males, they're just, no, they're so clingy. They can be manipulative. They just, they're not my cup of tea at all. Also, y'all, look at the mug my mommy bought me for Christmas. It has our pictures on it. I'm just going to show me. But I love this mug. It's like everything. I drink out of it every morning. But, yeah. What was I talking about? Libras. Okay, so for the most part, I love how you guys, your aesthetic. It's like you guys were born with like an aesthetic. Like you guys like always just accessorize things to like fit like you. And it's just so beautiful. Y'all are the type of people to like get a new car and like have it like rhinestones or like seat covers. Y'all just have to make sure everything looks up to par like Every day for y'all is like taking an Instagram picture. You want to make sure it looks aesthetically pleasing. I love that about you guys. A um, thing that I don't like sometimes you guys are just kind of pass too passive. Or you could just be like too undecided about things. Everybody can't decide things for you. And I feel like sometimes what's on your chest, you need to get it off your chest. You need to speak about it. So the next sign is Gemini. Um... Geminis are so so funny like I don't really hate y'all but it's just like I didn't really have a lot of experience with Geminis but like from who I've met like y'all know how to have a good conversation I feel like you guys y'all are kind of like friends of anybody you could be like in any friend group about like, okay hey that's that's Sasha Sasha's friends with the jock Sasha's friends with the the band kids Sasha's friends with the um Poet Club, Sasha's just friends with everybody. And then it's just like, y'all know how to communicate. Like, you guys, the way you have to captivate somebody just by speaking, like, express, like, what's on your mind, it's just amazing. I feel like you guys are, like, good with your words. You probably, like, writing papers or, like, creative writing, like, reading books. Like, you guys are just really, really up there. Like, I would be friends with a Gemini. I feel like Gemini's and Scorpio's, like, we have a bad, um, <laughs> people paint us out to be the bad guy, but it's, it's really this other sign, but I'm gonna get to that. So the next sign I have is Capricorn. I really don't have a lot of experience with Capricorns. I had experience with one. I, I don't hate this person. I really don't. But it's just, like, Back to what's horse is not what you say, it's how you say it. And like Capricorns, they could be so nitpicky. They want everything to be perfect. But you know, Beyonce mom, Tina knows she was a Capricorn and you know, she pushed her to be where she wanted to be today. 
But everybody's not trying to be Beyonce. Everybody's not perfect. So don't push somebody to be perfect. And then sometimes y'all could be so stubborn. Like, it's just ridiculous. Y'all are very, most of y'all are like stuck in like a very traditional mindset. And when we're moving forward, it's 2022. We're not in the 1950s. Things aren't the same. And I feel like you guys, as I, you need to just be a little bit more open to living a little. You know, everything is not about securing the bag. I mean, secure the bag, but everything is not about securing the bag. The next sign I have, which is number 10, is Aquarius. So I have a lot of experience with like Aquarius guys because I've had um, a boss that was an Aquarius. I, has, I really don't have, I've just been a few, around a few Aquarius. So me and my boss used to get into it all the time because like he said some off, he'd be saying some off the wall things. And I'm not, I'm not your daughter. I'm not a little girl. I'm a grown woman. I have bills to pay, so you will talk to me accordingly. Don't talk to me like I'm just little Sally because I'm not about to take anything like little Sally. So he will come in yelling and be like, why isn't this done? Why isn't this done? So I would give him the same energy back. Like, do not talk to me like that. Like, who are you? Yes, you're my boss, but you don't get to talk to me any type of way. And then like, he would just, like, he would just say some off the wall things like, oh, I don't believe in love. I don't see how people believe in love. Like it's a made up concept or whatever. Like just say stuff like that. Just like trying to shake up the tables. Like where do you get, where do you get off? And then like this one person I talked to, we didn't date. He was older than me. He was an Aquarius, but he just, he was very on and off, like very detached. And then it's just, I didn't, I didn't know how to handle that. So I, I had to just let that go because like, I don't like, Communicate with me if you want to take a little hiatus. Okay, good. Just let me know. Don't just drop off the earth, the face of the earth. Like, let me know. And Aquarius women I've met, they're very, their mindset, like how they see things, is kind of like different than other people. Not saying it's distorted. Like, we're in 2022. Sometimes they'll be like in 2030. And, like, you know, that's okay. Just like, um, Taurus, like their go getters, their strive, like they have this it's a little bit of Libra, they have this aesthetic about them. But sometimes y'all can be so mean, so mean, so mean, so mean. And I just don't understand why. But I love how different you are. I love that you're a rebel with or without a cause. You guys can be very humanitarian. I applaud that because everybody isn't like that. I'm an Aquarius rising. So I just feel like sometimes me and Aquarius bump heads. It's, it's no beef or anything. I just feel like sometimes we just bump heads. Um, The next sign is Aries. And so I like Aries. I like Aries women more than I like the Aries men. I just feel like the Aries women, they're a little bit more evolved than the Aries men. They're just a little bit more evolved. But for starters, like, they both, um, they handle their business. That's, I can apply that for that. Like, they on a grind, they on a stride, they gonna get what they want to get, and that's period. Secure what you need to secure. Another thing, I just feel like sometimes you guys could be hotheads. Like, you guys could be, y'all are fun to be around. You like to, y'all are like, kind of like the life of the party. I feel like, okay, so Leo's are like the life of the party. Uh, Aries is like the life of the rave. Like, you guys are like, it's like you guys are like ragers in, the, in a sense. But not to the point where it's like too chaotic. But, you know, you're the life of a rage. Or is it rave? I don't know. But I, you guys are just so impulsive. Like, y'all do not sit down and think about anything. You just do it. Sometimes you guys are very selfish. You guys only think about yourself, which is good to think, be selfish at times, but all the time, come on now. I feel like Aries at times suffer from the only child syndrome, even if they're not the only child. And like, y'all be doing some sneaky stuff and mm, I can't, but I, I applaud your, your strive and how creative you are. And you can be a trendsetter, even if you don't want to. I feel like you'll have people looking up to you. Yeah. That's what I like about you guys, but I just like the other things. And the last person on my list, number 12, is Sagittarius. I cannot, I cannot, I cannot stand y'all. I've tried, like, ever since I was born on November 1st, 
1999 when a doctor said okay baby a it's here it's a girl i was like okay i cannot stay a sagittarius like it's like ever since then y'all have just been a plague in my life like and i've been so open with sagittarius like i just been letting them all in but every time i let someone in that's a sagittarius it just never ends out right i do not like y'all and it's both the men and the women like i could go down a whole rabbit hole about sagittarius I could do a number, numerous story top story times about Sagittarius. I, I, you know, I just might. I just might. But um, anyways, I just feel like you guys are so selfish. Like you're moody. You don't. I just feel like you guys are like born narcissists. Like you guys, you guys will do like some heinous things to someone else, but wouldn't want them to do it to you. You guys are just very unrealistic. And then another thing, you guys pick like the wrong people to end up with or like if you pick the right person you just don't like them because whatever issues you have inside you haven't worked on yet they're very manipulative they're very promiscuous i mean if you want to be promiscuous be promiscuous that has nothing to do with me but like y'all are known for being promiscuous y'all are just very chaotic like it doesn't make sense like everything is like a game to you like you just do not care but i like that like sometimes you guys are like shaggy and like scooby like you're like that dynamic like chill or whatever but it's just too much and like i it's for both men and women sagittarius i think i said this before but i just cannot deal but yeah be sure to like, comment, subscribe. Tell me um, your top three favorite zodiac signs and your least favorite. Get your fingers down in the comments below and I'll see you in my next video. I love you guys.